Hey y'all. So I rarely go Facebook Live. Um, because you know YouTube my platform, but today I was like, let's try Facebook. I'm pretty sure I may upload this video to YouTube later. Um, because I have not discussed um origine, you know, topics in a while on um what is an origine and stuff like that. Um, so Hey, Womb. Hello, Robert. How y'all guys doing today? So, um, so basically, I know a lot of people are seeing um, a lot of black Americans stop claiming Africa and start claiming their indigenous ancestry. And I know with a lot of pro-black people, you know, this got a lot of people upset, um, including um, some African people. Um, I do have um, Africans on my timeline. Shout out to y'all guys. Um... So, people take it as a, as, as a, I want to say hate crime towards African people because we don't claim Africa, but it's the totally exact um, opposite, okay? Um, and even some Africans know that we are indigenous to America. They know that America is our homeland, you know. And um, and if you speak to some Africans too, and, and also what I've been seeing from a lot of them was I had no idea about black people. I had no idea about um, black Americans until, uh, you know, either they Googled us or or someone told them about the slave trade or something, you know, and and that's how you know, like a lot of the information they've been telling us in school were false. Because how is it that we come from Africans, but they don't even know our story? They don't even know um, their story because this is this is supposed to be their story, right? The translate the slave trade is supposed to be about their story, but um, I've seen several um, African people be like, "What?" When when um they when the transatlantic slave trade is talked about when they talk about how um how um you know supposedly we were kidnapped from them and and taken over here they're like what like huh you know so that's how you know a lot of this stuff is fake and and how a lot of the things that they trying to tell us and regurgitate to us is is not factual because if if this was true. They would have known that. They would have had their own stories about that, you know. And um, and some of our people did migrate to Africa, you know, uh, free people, that is. And so, you know, and, and over there, we all call Creoles over there. So um, they would have known about our story and about um, whatever else went on. You know, they would not have they would not have to have people telling them like, hey, you know, these black people in America come from you. Because that, that don't sound right. You know, they they would have known that right off the bat. They would have already been knowing that through their oral history and their oral stories. So, um, so yeah, but however, um, we're not saying that, um, you know, slavery and, and being prisoners of war and all the other stuff did not happen in Africa. We're not saying that um, slavery never existed or being a prisoner of war never existed. We're just basically stating like, hey, you know, we just indigenous people. And um, and I find it kind of funny, too, that people be like, oh, you denying slavery when we say that um, we don't come from African slaves because it's like that don't define who we are. You know, we have our own individual um, ancestry and, and lineages and and things of that nature. So, just to put off on all so-called Black American people that you know they're just descendants of slaves is false and and misleading and kind of ignorant too. You know, it's ignorant to believe that all of us descend from slaves when we know good and well our history um, exceeds that. You know, um, we did not fall from out the sky and landed in slavery here in America. <laughs> You know, um, we always had a, a really rich history and culture here in America. And um, and throughout the centuries, you know, we were classified. We were um, classified as black, Negro, colored. And that's why a lot of us are not clinging on to those titles either, because those were titles that were 
forced onto us. Those are labels that have been forced onto our ancestors and currently us today. And that's how a lot of us are reclassified as African American or Black American today due to, you know, paper genocide. You know, paper genocide is basically what I just said. Um, them reclassifying us as a different race or a different uh, title. You know, a lot of these titles that they give us, they are dead titles. They don't mean anything in the court of law. Um, and these titles were just used to keep us from um, gaining and using our indigenous rights and um, going to the uh, United States government and um, getting and obtaining what's rightfully ours, which is, you know, our land, our reparations, our restitutions, things of that nature. So it's a lot that goes into the subject. There's a lot that goes into... Um, Originating culture and history. Now I know y'all probably like, okay, what's an originating? Well, originating is a, a word that I use to call um, the original Americans. You know, original Americans by bloodline, not by you know being adopted into a tribe and all the other stuff. Because there's a lot of people claiming to be um, Indigenous American, but they only you know called that on paper because they have paid their way. And have been adopted into um, these American um, Indian nations. You know, not a lot of people know that, um, you know, uh, these these tribes accepted Asian slaves into, you know, their nations. A lot of people don't know that um, they accepted a lot of foreigners um, into these tribes, you know. And so that's why a lot of y'all think that um, indigenous people of America look like white people, look like pale people and with long black hair due to um, these stereotypes and foreigners being adopted into our nations. And so y'all looking, if y'all looking at these Westerns to determine who is native and who's not, you are in, you are looking at the wrong channel. <laughs> okay, you, you, you need to take a step back and really look at the um, documents of, of these explorers that came over here because they would tell you, oh, these these people are rich brown color. Um, they they got um, wooly hair. They 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 um, they they black or whatever. They, they came over here and love calling us black. They came over here and love calling us Negro. You know, um, I remember. Oh, I, I also just came across something um, the other day that uh like i guess like this colonizer or explorer or whoever he called in a uh in a um a tiano leader he called her a black b word okay and so we all know who they use those words for so you know if if um you know if we're not the original people of america they would not use these terms to um, identify us. And again, these are terms that they use. We don't have to identify what they want us to identify as. And that's where a lot of confusion come at. Because a lot of people feel like we should continue to call ourselves under um, these jurisdictions and names when we don't have to, when, when it's not needed. And, um, you know, that's why I call myself an originating. That's why I came up with that term originating. Because... I'm original, you know, um, and I have the right to identify what I want to identify as, you know, um, originally, origican, you know, I also call America Origica, you know, I, I just feel like this is a point in time where it's time for us to get creative in our identity and recreating our identity, because even though there's still a lot of knowledge and wisdom within, um, you know, our tribes and stuff like that. There's still a lot of foreign indoctrination in it. So it's very important for us to rebuild um, our culture and, and what we have going on. Um, so, yes, who who are originating people? People like me, people like you, um, you know, people that have a paper trail of them being in America. You know, they are um, original Americans by bloodline, you know, so um, uh not anybody can be an originating, okay? Not everybody can be an originating. And um, I specifically use this term for our people. You know, I don't say originating of Africa. No, that's not, that, that term ain't for them. I did not make that term for them. No. So, you know, it's, it's not it's not something that I use to describe melanated indigenous people. This term is for us, exactly for us, like sh how it should be. Um, 
so yes there's a lot of um stigmas about what we look like um who we come from and it's important for us to let people know like hey you know this is my ancestry this this is the people i come from you know we're not gonna deal with this no more i'm not i'm not gonna deal with being reclassified um and um erased out of my own history you know we're not gonna do that no more and a lot of people are mad because by us claiming who we truly are that breaks the illusion that has been set in place for us that breaks um that breaks the stereotypes that has been placed on us you know because you know what what can they do now you know um for years they saying oh go back to africa go back to africa when we never came from there in the first place you know um they come up with these fake theories these fake studies all, all this stuff to try and make us feel secure about the information they have told us you know, growing up, because growing up, they never gave us any information that um, put like us individually on the African continent. And what I mean by that is like they never tell us, hey, look up your genealogy, look up your ancestry, look at your documents of your family, you know, and, and you will find out more about yourself. No, they was just going and saying, hey, y'all come from Africa. You come from African slaves. The end. You know, they ain't never showed us no proof. They ain't never showed us further information and now since we're older and and you know we can think for ourselves they trying to push all this out of africa theory mess and all the other stuff out there to make people feel secure about the information that they have given them so yeah i i have ordered food y'all i don't know why they just pull up in the driveway <laughs> but um yeah for Genesis origin, that's my word, Jinjin. I don't know why they're calling me. I told them to knock on the door. See, this this why I need me a car. <laughs> but then again, I did not feel like going outside. So, hold on, y'all. Come. Hold on, I'm trying to get food. Are you asking? Yes. Beautiful girl. Thank you. Like the owner. <laughs> thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, y'all. Yeah. All right, he an elderly man, y'all. I'm going to give him a pass. <laughs> oh, my God. Hold on, y'all. I got to close this door. Going back upstairs. All right. Oh, y'all. I'm so tired. Um. Anyway, back to the subject. Um. Right, and we just eat it up and run with it like it's law. Shanna, I remember you. I remember when I was in that um battle group. Um. What was it called? I can't remember the group name, but I remember you. And I remember, like dealing with those natives and 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 i remember like you was kind of like i don't know you know like you like you you was hearing it but you wasn't you know 100 percent on it and and then like today what you told me you was like how your native friend was like oh you know i just received 400 acres and you was like how did you get it and then she was like, oh, well, I had to provide documentation, but I had to provide further documentation. And then she slipped up and said that the government gave it to her. The government gave her them documents. Meaning otherwise, it was not, she, she ain't who she claims she is. She ain't who she claims she is. So, but that's, that's how it be though. That's how it be. A lot of a lot of these natives are foreigners and they just be accepted to these tribes. The government just be giving them, giving them documents, just be giving them documents. There are a lot of pale people who are accepted into these American Indian nations. No, and going well, they don't have a drop of indigenous blood in them. And to top it off, 
a lot of greedy contractors are claiming indigenous um lineages and and um getting indigenous um tribal identifications and stuff like that to like further colonize you know our land so uh, you know they just they just they trying to find each and every mm -hmm. way to colonize our our land and, and take whatever is ours you know they don't they don't have no remorse they don't care like it's already bad enough that so many scottish and irish people were accepted into cherokee nation well were slaves or should i say and now their descendants have mixed in and then um and then now you got new people new white people rolling in talking about how they indigenous and all they had, and and all, I'm I'm pretty sure all they had to do is just pay somebody off. They just paid somebody off to get those benefits. It's 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 a shady world out here, cause here we are, the original descendants of the original people of America, and we are going through obstacles, setbacks, all these different things just to claim what is rightfully ours. However, all these foreigners could come over here, get the time of their life, be getting all them little ID tribal cards, getting all the all the money, all the acres. Like we know you ain't from here, you know. Um, that's why it's, it's it's important for us to use discernment. Um, just just how like they try to um downplay our um indigenous ancestry, we need to do the same thing to them. Okay, that's that's how I am with them. Or someone try to come to tell me, oh, I'm indigenous. On what 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 area of the world? Where? You know, we need to have that same energy with them, like how they be trying to have with us. But got over two hundred acres. But get this, she can only sell up to five acres. The same five acres that is settled and zoned for housing. Mm. What do you consider yourself originating? Originating. You must you you must just pop in. Okay, so I'm an origin. Origin um, is an original American of America by bloodline. Okay, I'm original American by bloodline. Um, also call myself a rich can. Okay, a rich can. Okay, um, I do my own thing. I don't claim those titles that the United States government has given us because those are titles that was given to us to keep us from claiming our land, our indigenous rights, and so on and so forth. Um, a lot of us come from indigenous heritage and, and American Indian heritage and don't know it due to paper genocide, due to laws keeping us from talking about our ancestry, and also, too, um, from the Poconoke uh, tribe, um, I think I pronounced that right. Poconoke or Poconoke. Okay, it's, it's, it's either one of those. Um, I have to hear someone say it again. <laughs> that's, that's how I really learn how to speak. Like, like you know, people can say, oh, you know, how you indigenous but don't know how to say the language correctly. Well, what I can't speak the English language correctly. You know, I can't speak French, but I got French history too. So, <laughs> so you know, it's just, you know, you got to learn. So, um but back back to the top back topic um you know the chief leader he was saying how if if you even talked about being indigenous um you know they would kill you okay um they would kill you they, they would do a lot of things um just to keep us from talking about it so it's very important that we speak up now because a lot of our elders and our ancestors, they were silenced. They were silenced for speaking about their ancestry. And it was not a fair game either. You know, the United States government ain't never going to play a fair game with people. They're always going to try and um, weasel their way out of um, an agreement, a contract, and, and try to find some type of um, wiggle room to not uphold and honor um, the treaties that we have with them. They don't want to do right. They they never intended to do right.
it doesn't matter how much land is returned to you because the land never belongs to you. The land belongs to all of your people and they all have the equal right to that land that you do. But you know what? We don't we don't own anything in this world to begin with. You can't take it when you die. So it's like everything about life itself is an oxymoron. Like you own something, but then again, you don't because you can't take it with you. Okay. You can't take it with you when you die. I definitely saw the blood in you as soon as the video popped up. You know, a lot of us out here, you know, it's, it's funny too because I be seeing um, a lot of drawings of indigenous people, and and you know, I be like, they got my features, and that's and that's how you know, cause back in the day, y'all, I used to claim to be African. I used to be very pro black, and I, I know I know some of y'all be like, oh, well, I seen that meme of you claiming to be all in them African drums, and now you claiming you indigenous, and it's like, <laughs> and it's like back then I did not have the knowledge of self like I have now you know back then I didn't know about anything about my ancestry I was just going off on what people was telling me I was going off on what my history teacher was telling me you know a lot a lot of us was you know um, I did have my elders tell me about my indigenous ancestry but I was so brainwashed by by the system and, and even by social media too that I didn't believe them you know my my uh grandmother she was like oh I come from the Ishuk tribe and I I was like she lying there ain't no tribe in America called Ishuk I said grandma spell it out you know she spelled it out for me uh too she was like I is I said nope how you go <laughs> I, I did my grandma wrong and I, I, I honestly I regret it too because I wish I would have listened to her more instead of trying to like I'm sorry y'all people just keep calling me like stop calling me um, instead of just you know trying to be judgmental and all overly pro-black and stuff like my way or the highway um, I wish I would have listened to her more because that is an actual tribe okay it's an actual tribe and um and i was like dang okay i wish i would have got some more information because i could have used that information to get farther in my genealogy too so um i i, I was just very dismissive of my indigenous ancestry you know um i didn't get to this point in my life by just you know like how people are trying to put out like oh y'all just hate yourselves and y'all don't want to claim y'all indigenous uh, y'all african ancestry and all this other stuff but uh, when a lot of us came into this whole african thing and then we discovered okay this ain't this ain't us this ain't my ancestry this ain't my lineage you know and um it's fair game to say uh and, and um it how can i put it you have every right to change your way of thinking when new information has been presented to you okay and once new information has been presented to me i didn't deny it anymore i didn't deny my indigenous ancestry because i am secure in myself and i am secure in my indigenous ancestry now how other people feel about it i don't care that it that has nothing to do with me how people feel about me has nothing to do with me um, I'm just here to be the voice of my ancestors and, and get what is rightfully mine, okay? What is going on with people calling me? Like, I swear I'm going to have to block this person over here distracting me. Anyway, anyway, y'all, um, yeah, it takes time to realize the truth because when you have been brainwashed for so long, when people have been telling you something for so long and you believe it, you know, it's hard to undo all that, you know, brainwashing and conditioning. You know, just how like y'all be with, with religious people saying, oh, them religious people need to let go of Jesus. They just, they just didn't let it go. They over here believing in sky daddy. Oh, same with a lot of us claiming to be African and, and, and talking about how we African with no proof of it you know and and i know people be be like oh that sounds redundant of course you know um we're not gonna have african documentation because we we were stolen property no we are never property to begin with okay I, I, and how can you say you was even stolen if you don't have the documentation to even you know put that out there you know 
we are told a history that is not even confirmed for us individually. You know, some people, you know, ancestry, you know, they may, they may actually have, you know, um, ancestors stolen and, and brought over here from Africa or whatever. But that doesn't go for everybody. You know, um, if you was African, they would have put that on your documents. Okay. And this is why I say y'all need to do your genealogy work. Because if you do your genealogy work, you will see that if you were an immigrant, if you had African ancestry, if you had African parents, they would have put that on your documents. And if you don't, then it's more than likely that they are indigenous people. Your ancestors are indigenous. And just because it don't say Indian on the documents does not mean that they're not Indian. You know, a lot of us, you know, was not living on reservations. Back in the day, on like on the first census, if you did not live on no reservation, you were not labeled as Indian. You was labeled as colored. You only had two options, white and colored. Pick one. So you can only just imagine... Um, how many people were under the, the colored title, you know, um, when it comes to color, you know, it's mostly us that's being called colored, but guess what? They was calling Asian people color. They was calling Hispanic people. Well, but Hispanic people is, they're different, you know, um, in the sense that they was calling them white, you know, cause they assumed that they had white ancestry, which a lot of them do. <laughs> okay. And, um, but anybody else, if you had any, if you was a darker hue, no matter what your origin was, whether it was European, Polynesian, Australian, whatever, you being labeled as color, okay? Um, they don't, they don't have all these, you know, check here like they have now. You know, that's new. You know, our ancestors, they didn't have that. They didn't give our ancestors those options. So you know, um. You know, when it comes to genealogy and ancestry, a lot of so-called black Americans are now looking to it and understanding what's going on. Now, a lot of us are like, okay, the information that have been sold to us don't make no sense. This, this does not pertain to my ancestry, to my family. And now I know better. And since I know better, I'm going to do better. Okay. Um. A lot of people are taking this as a big F you to Africa, and that's not the case, you know. And if you feel that way, I'm not sorry, okay. I'm not going to apologize for embracing my ancestry, you know. It, it's, it's, not, it's not my fault that, you know, we have been indoctrinated to believe in a, um, in a history that is based on lies. You know, like, yes, Africans, you know, um were sent out and and you know slave slavery whatever you you want to call it or whatever um however they do say that only what 200,000 400,000 slaves were imported into the United States and people could be like oh well you know they're African well hold on wait a minute because I learned I actually learned this from Tasha Shee too they were sending East um, Indian people over to Africa as slaves, okay? They were sending uh, Melanesians to Africa as slaves, okay? So just because, you know, e even if you do see documentation of them saying, oh, they come from Guinea or whatever, it still does not mean you are 100% African or they are 100% African because they were labeled them as African too when they was coming over there as slaves, Okay? So when it comes to history, it's tricky. Um, there's a lot of misinformation out here and not a lot of information is being talked about. Um, that's why people like me, people people like Tasha She and Phoenix Moon, that's why we out here um, talking about this now because they're not talking about this in school. I, I remember I was trying to get my history teacher to talk about white slaves. He'd be like, oh, we're not talking about that right now. I'm like, well, when are we going to talk about it? Never. Okay, they don't talk about their history because if they was, they would have to talk about our history. They don't talk about indigenous history like like they should. They don't talk about the Mayans and the Aztecs and all these other um, indigenous nations. Okay, they don't talk about the indigenous nations that had kinky hair, coily hair, and dark skin. They don't talk about that. Okay, 
and 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 even in these books that do talk about um the tribes that look like me or had like kinky curly hair or whatever they always try to push that african label on them and that's for a reason people don't know that these out of africa theory and 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 them trying to constantly push african on us mm -hmm. is to to steal our land and to steal our indigenous rights Y'all, they, they don't put this information out here to make us feel good. They put that information out there to steal what is rightfully yours. Okay? Um, a lot of black Americans have undergone identity theft, and they don't know it. Okay? Y'all worried about the identity theft on social media. You worry about the identity theft, you know, with your credit card information. But the real identity theft is they took your uh, nationality. They took your ethnicity. They took your land, they took your rights, and gave you something completely new that will not help you, that do not get you further in life. Okay, and, and a lot of us, you know, we'd be like, well, you know, you can get these loans and grants, you know, for being called black. But that's just something to pacify you. That's not something that's really beneficial, okay? And that's not really fixing the problem. You know, um, that's not... That's not like... Hold on, y'all. <laughs> they they just keep like call. I I thought I blocked this person on Messenger a whole a long time ago. Like, y'all don't call me on Messenger. Don't call me unless you know I'm like I'm. You know I I know you're gonna call me. Like, don't call me on Messenger. Like, don't especially when I don't know you. Like, don't do that. Don't call me on Messenger, y'all. That's too much. Yeah, they got to stick to the script. They got to stick to the script. Um, and yes, Brandon, the whole earth is ours. But somehow, they got us believing that we all just come from one place. And that's not correct. Because we all have over a million ancestors. You feel me? So, I mean, you know, we could have African ancestry. But we're not going to claim it. Because we're not 100% sure. Okay? And also... They are hoping that we are claiming a foreign status because they don't want people. They don't want us to claim what's rightfully ours. Okay, if you claiming a foreign status and trying to get some indigenous land, indigenous rights, baby, you are gonna be in for a fight of your life because you holding on to these fake titles and stuff that they are giving you. And um, and this is the thing with my family too. Okay, um, I have Polynesian ancestry. Um, I have, um, my, on my dad's side, um, his, his grandfather is Choctaw. Okay. He's a Choctaw freedman. Now, when a lot of people hear freedmen, they think, oh, well, those are just blacks that came into the tribe and were adopted or slave or whatever. However, okay. If you don't have slave schedules of your people being that tribe. If you don't, if, if your, if your people didn't ha need a guardian, you know, in order to be and stay in that tribe, they not no slaves. They not no African slaves to begin with, you know, free, free men, freed men, That just mean that your people was free and they probably was free to begin with. You know, they probably was never slaves to begin with. So, um, they, they use these titles and terms to confuse us. Okay. Um, we're, we're like what so-called black americans we have so many different titles and and identities thrown at us and it's like oh we got the cajuns we got the creoles we got the blacks we got the colors we got the we got the negroes we got all these names attached to us when those names are used to misidentify and keep us from actually able to follow that paper trail of our family okay because that paper trail a lot a lot of people are trying to avoid doing that genealogy but guess what you know you either gonna nut up or shut up when it come down to it because a lot of people like to claim america until it's time to get to them genealogy okay a lot of people like to claim different landmass, all this other different stuff until they get them documentation. And I feel and I also feel like too, well, a lot of people that's coming into, you know, the indigenous community, indigenous movement, whatever you wanna call it, a lot of people are are reeling in it. And also too, um, you will find some Africans trying to follow what we got going on. You know, there are some Africans out here claiming to be indigenous. Okay? 
So it's it's a lot of foolery and trickery going on, and um and and that's why a lot of people um. Well, this is why these people are not really trying to talk about genealogy with folks because they know that they're foreigners and they're just trying to get in where they feel like they fit in. Okay? And um, that's why I have no problem saying I'm not African. That's why I have no problem um, identifying myself from other people because other people love to tackle on what we got going on in hopes of getting something out of it. Okay? Um... I rarely see any African people supporting us, you know, supporting what we got going on, you know, and, 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 and even before that, um, when I used to claim to be African, you know, it, it was rare, you know, um, and there are also a lot of African people that feel like they better than us because they feel like they full blooded or whatever when the jokes on them, because we ain't never came from them to begin with. <laughs> okay. So, um, it's just a lot of misinformation out here. There's a lot of people claiming and clinging to us in hopes that they can get something out of us or out, out of the situation or whatever. But it's up to us to be speak up and be like, nah, this ain't what it is. That's why I have no problem correcting people who say I'm black or, or whatever. I, and, and, and then sometimes I just don't feel like, you know, going back and forth. I'm just like, Lord, think whatever you want. Because at the end of the day... What matters is you versus the United States government and you getting back what's rightfully yours. Being an originating is way more than a tribal ID card. And that's why a lot of y'all be trying to clown and talk down on us because we don't have a tri tribal ID card. But guess what? The joke's on you. Just because you own a physical object does not mean that that um identify you as a person you know I, I, we got plenty of uh, physical objects identifying us but it's not correct it's not um accurate okay and i thought we're not supposed to be in materialism <laughs> you know i thought i thought y'all hope chef said that uh we too materialistic we only too materialistic until Y'all want to see some papers or whatever. Then it's like, oh, okay. Now now you need to see some papers. Now you need to see a travel ID card, you know. Um, but however, a lot of originating people like me, we're not in it for the money. We're not in it for, you know, the casinos and the cars or whatever. We passed that point. You know, that would have been nice if they was able to give our ancestors that. But since they didn't, now we coming for blood. We coming from blood, we coming from necks, we coming from heads with machetes. Okay? Um, we 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 not we not playing patty cake no more. We not playing patty cake with folks no more. You know, um they should have done right by us when we was trying to do right. Okay. Um we, you know, the real originates, we don't need um all that stuff, you know, because at the end of the day, we're done being under other people jurisdiction you know right now sovereignty is the key now i know these tribes like to put out like they so sovereign and stuff like that but if you still label indian you are still under the united states uh government jurisdiction you know that's why i don't play into these word games and semantics with people because they're all still under you the u.s government jurisdiction y'all that's there's a reason why you know they even own the checklist <laughs> <laughs> y'all like you know so even when them native people try to come to us and talk to us outside their neck like oh i got a tribal id card i'm like well so i mean you're a white person i mean it's easy for you to get it you know like you're an asia person it's it's easy for you to get it you're Asian, you know um a lot of asians and white people were accepted into uh, these indigenous nations and they stayed there you know they mixed in with us uh, and with each other and that's why a lot of people think that they the original people because they got cards and documents not knowing and just like what Shanna said that the U.S. government be giving it to them y'all like there's there's even um people from the Caribbean you know who ain't even from these tribes being accepted 
you know so I'm, I'm like what are they doing you know however you know there's a lot of american indian nations you know that were sent to um the caribbean yes entire american indian nations were sent to um the caribbean as slaves and whatnot but um however you know with that being said it does not mean that these people that accept them from these tribes in the Caribbean are actually from that tribe or indigenous. Okay. Um, yes, exactly. Um, Self-governing ourselves is important. We don't need people to tell us what to do and how to live. Like we passed that point. Okay. And like um, I know some of our people still trying to um, get accepted into these tribes and stuff. And I'm like, you just wasting your breath. You wasting your time, energy. And I mean, but I mean, I guess you could use it as a case against them and the United States government. Because a lot of these tribes too, they, they stick in together okay when it comes to this because they know a lot of us are indigenous you know a lot of and a lot of the elders in those tribes too they know we indigenous too they know the actual history but they're not talking about it with people a lot of these elders ain't talking about it with people why because they ain't trying to give up what they got you know that their ancestors scam and work too hard to um get where they at now okay they ain't letting go of them chicks okay and um and, um, you know, then they'd be like, oh, well, you know, American Indians and blacks, they had good relationships in the tribes, you know, and so on and so forth. I'm like, that's because they was the same people. Okay. Um, a lot of these Asian looking mofos you see now, they just got up in there, y'all. They have not been up in there for, uh, hundreds and hundreds of years. Okay. And also, too, if, if you actually research history, how many, how many photos have you seen of them um, Eurasian natives out in the field, you know, as slaves? You know, because, because a lot of slave catchers, they was coming to Indian territory, you know, and, and catching us as slaves. You feel me? So, it's like, where are their, where are their documentation of being slaves? Because... The largest slave population were Indians, not Africans, Indians, you know, um, they just ro rotated us around from from uh, the United States to the Caribbean and, and back. OK, so it was it was like the uh, West Indies triangular trade. OK, if you don't know about it, look it up. Um, and they was also sending us to Africa as slaves as well, you know, um, and we and we also went over there as free people as well, you know. Um, so it's it's a lot that goes into history that's not being talked about or or even being acknowledged because they're like, oh, you know, me as the Africans came over here when really it was a lot of us being shipped over to Europe and Africa and even you know to the South Pacific um, islands, you know. Um, we we yeah, it's it's a lot that goes into history that they're not talking about. And the reason why they don't um, want us to talk, you know, be, be multicultural and talk about ancestry is because we're just supposed to accept the, the abuse, the, the, um, the identity theft, all these different things, y'all. Um, cause I'm multicultural myself, you know, I'm Polynesian, I'm, I'm, I'm originally, and then I um, also have, um, a Mexican ancestry too, you know, that's just me. So, um, you know, and even, even with people, they'd be like, oh, you're not this, not that. I'm like, well, you ain't never read my ancestors documents. So you have no place to tell me who I am, you know? Um, so there's a lot to our ancestry and I feel like a lot of black people don't want to claim it because they don't want to be outcasted. You know, they're told that they can only be one thing and that's it, but you can be multiple things, you know, um, you can come from multiple lineages. You know, we all have over a million ancestors. Y'all, you, you're just not going to be no one thing. You ain't just going to come from one tribe. And, and, um, and they hate it. They hate it when we do claim multiple tribes because it's like, how dare you claim more than one tribe? I'm like, wait, well, like we all just stayed in one place. You know, you was doing the trail of tears on us, you know, you, and it, it's not just one trail of tears. There was multiple y'all. They, was constantly removing us off our own land, you know, force forcibly removing us off our own lands. So guess what? 
um, people from different nations, you know, they're mixing in. And, and then there were times where we had to, um, we had to, um, you know, force to identify with one tribe. You know, we couldn't be on multiple roles, you know, even, even if you do come from multiple tribes, you know, you couldn't do that. You know, they was like, pick one. Okay. And that's why a lot of y'all feel like we have to pick one ancestry now. One, not, not the, but I'm, I'm one ancestry, you know, <laughs> because, because of, you know, like the rules and the guidelines that they was placing on to our people. You know, I was looking at my ancestor documents, um, you know, with them being Choctaw and, um, they was like, uh, they they had to choose um which tribe to be listed on on the dolls rolls because i did find um my third great grandfather he was actually from a different tribe and i saw a documentation of him being from a different tribe and then and then they said that he had to choose between that tribe and this i'm like well dang you know like you couldn't be both i mean obviously if you both you know you should be able to you know identify with both you know, back in the day, um, the lineage was determined by the mother. But, however, I feel like if I've descended from them, you know, and they make up my genetic history to this day, then I should have the right to claim them. You know, I should have the right to um, identify with the people I descend from. Exactly. Um, we are more than, we are more than one tribe. Okay? And people... Hate for us to identify with more than one tribe. Because honestly, people already get mad at us for for claiming stuff. Because they people feel like black Americans claim everything. They just claim that they from everywhere and all this. Stuff. I mean, because melanated indigenous people are all over the world, y'all. Like, like, we are global people. You know, we're not just from one area, one part of the world, you know. Like how they try to... um. Hey, Willie, hey, you know, we're not, we're not just from one place, like how they put it, you know, it, it's funny, because people be like, oh, Africans colonized the whole world, but y'all still Africans, like, that don't, that don't work, that don't, that don't, that don't sound right to me, you know, if, if melanated people been all over the world, you know, we are the first people of the world, then we have the right to claim our land, you know, we have the right to claim our ancestry, our sovereignty, you know, I don't, I don't get it. I don't give in to foreigner rules anymore. Like, cause it was, those rules are not made for us. Halito Tas. So yes, um, it's just too much confusion. It's, it's, it, and these history teachers ain't making it better. Okay. And I was telling someone the other day, I was like, yo, it's funny how we have teachers teaching multiple generations. Okay. Um, we have teachers that taught our mamas and even some of, some of our grandmamas too. So just imagine the, the years of conditioning and brainwashing, you know, because when a person gets to a certain age, they start getting set in their ways, okay? And a lot of the people that were push, pushing out this, uh, we come from Africa and stuff, I'm pretty sure that they were older people. I'm pretty sure that these people were stern in their ways, you know, because a lot of the people that were reclassifying us and um, and and changing our our documents um, from Indian to Negro, et cetera, et cetera, they were of old age. So you know, for people of older age, you know, it, it's hard for them to get out that mindset because they've been in that mindset for so long, you know. So um, so we have people teaching generations after generations. Of wrong and, and really ignorant history, you know. So, um, history is to not we repeat history, okay? History repeats itself, you know. And I feel like it kind of it's a cycle, you know, it's a cycle. But hopefully, with this generation, we end those cycles, we end, um, we end this constant, um, misclassification of our people and um our elders you know they talked about this for a long time but we were told that grandma was crazy we was told that grandpa was just telling tales you know but um they are actually telling us the truth you know and and you don't know that a hundred percent until you look at your own family documents you would you don't know until you really start to research the answers for yourself 
you know, everybody could be like, oh, you ignorant because you don't want to claim Africa. You don't want to claim this. Well, guess what? Let's look at them genealogy papers and really see what's up then. And then that's when people want to get quiet. Then that's when people really want to get ignorant. Because it's easy to claim something that people have told you. But it's hard to actually look and see if they're telling the truth. Okay, it's hard. It's hard then. Then then people want to back up like, oh, okay, well, nah, nah, nah. I thought you, I thought you was a, a truth seeker. I thought you was the gatekeeper of knowledge. I thought you uh was serious when it came to this knowledge game. How is it you can sit here and post about Africa all day? But when it comes to your own people, when it comes to your own family, you slow. You slow to look at them documents. You slow to research your own ancestry. Why? You're scared to find out the truth. You're scared to look at the knowledge. You're scared to see what you find out. Because, you know, I, there's a lot of things about my ancestor I had to accept. You know, I didn't want to accept that I was part French. Y'all y'all remember me? I would be on the internet arguing. I ain't part French. I ain't part European. I ain't part Spaniard. You know, <laughs> I, I still have yet to find Spanish ancestry. But, um, you know, I, I do have, you know, French ancestors you know and also too a lot of a lot of our people love to claim that they are descendants of slaves however on my melanated side and on my white side they both owned slaves now how many of y'all gonna sit there and still be hollering reparations and all this other stuff when you find out that your people own slaves your own your own fam your, your own ancestors own slaves you know, it's, it's like when you research your genealogy, it's going to shatter everything that you have learned. Y'all, it's going to shatter everything. And you and uh, y'all not going to like it. And I can tell you right now, that's why a lot of y'all try to avoid doing that genealogy tree research. Because you won't see some things you do not want to accept. Okay? And and at the end, of, you just going to have to accept it. You know, it's just, it is what it is. It's happened in the past, y'all. It ain't looking like we're going to get reparations anytime soon anyway. Okay? And if we was to get reparations, it probably would go through the government or whatever. You know? Hell. When I when I looked at them documents, I, I ain't going to lie. I was like, I'm like them white folks. I'm like, shoot, I ain't going to get no reparations out of me. <laughs> I'm like, I ain't got no money. I'm, like, I'm looking at them slave documents. I'm like, that's a lot of people. One, two, three. Mm -mm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it 100. You know, cause, cause it, 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 them reparations talk. Then it's gonna be looking mighty unfamiliar. Then you are gonna be like, I don't know if I can give out reparations just yet. <laughs> I'm just being honest. <laughs> I'm just being honest. So, you know. How, but I'm just saying, you're going to see some things in your ancestry, in your genealogy tree, that you may not want to accept. It's going to be too hard for you to comprehend. But you know what? Documents are documents. And and even with genealogy, genealogy is not 100% either. But guess what? Them are paper documents that your ancestors have signed, have looked at. You know, this is something that they have seen. This ain't, this ain't something that just made up like how ancestry DNA ancestry tests are you know DNA ancestry tests those things are not accurate and a lot of y'all trying to prove your ancestry through that when you know it ain't true you know it ain't true they sit there and tell people this DNA ancestry test is for entertainment purposes okay so Ancestry DNA tests are for entertainment purposes only. Yep, go ahead and get mad. Call them and tell them you want your money back. You have been bamboozled. But it's okay though, you can still look at them genealogy papers. Like you should have looked at it in the first place. When I found out we got French blood the we from Louisiana, yep. But many of my siblings got <laughs> I mean, but like my dad, my dad, I don't know 
what it is with him and like white ancestry but he would brag about being part French he'd be like oh I could speak French back in the day you know like he just be all over the top with it. I'm like okay dad like and that's and that kind of made me feel like I don't want to be associated with that because I'm like you are worshiping this ancestry too much like I don't want it no more <laughs> I don't want to be identified with this no more. If you just going to sit here and worship it like this, you know. However, it is what it is. I, I, you know, my dad, si, he from Louisiana too, you know. So, I mean, yeah, no brainer, dude. But, um, but yeah, y'all, like, when it comes to genealogy, it, it ain't no joke. You know, a lot of a lot of our people are actually getting their land and rights back through genealogy. A lot of y'all keep looking for this fairy tale reparations and it's like look through your genealogy because you just may be old something baby and if you got enough documents to prove it you better go to that courthouse baby go to that courthouse and get it done yeah talking about some 0.1 percent accurate <laughs> that is I don't know about y'all, but I'm not spending my money on something that's 0.1% accurate. I, I could have sworn it was like another zero in front of that one, like 0 0.01 or something like that. So I'm like, that's, that's too, that's, mm, mm -mm, no. Y'all, can y'all imagine if these pregnancy tests out here was talking about they 0.1% accurate? Can y'all imagine? Ooh, y'all know how many people would <laughs> think that they're not pregnant. <laughs> they actually are. <laughs> oh God. The Freedman Bank. You know, I think I think I found a document of uh, my family having a Freedman Bank account or something like that. So there's a lot that comes into this. Yeah, it is fake. They know it's fake. And you know, that's how you know too when people get mad. People get mad talking about some uh It is it is real. It is real. Uh how is it real? Is it real in your mind? Cause it ain't real in the real world, baby. <clears throat> it ain't real in the real world. Leave leave them tales alone. Do the paper trace ask your family exactly. Ask your family members who you come from. And if you skeptical, like how I was, you need to get on Ancestry.com and look up them documents. Okay? Um, you know, there should be no reason why black Americans ain't out here looking up their ancestry. I don't know if y'all think ain't nothing going to pop up because of the slave trade or whatever, but baby, okay? I got like... Over 500 people on my tree right now. And I'm up to like almost 2,000 hints on my ancestry tree. And baby, I'm overwhelmed. Okay? <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. So, um. So, yeah, y'all. Um. Don't believe everything that these people tell us about us. You know? Don't believe everything that someone tell you about you and your people because they don't know they they don't know you they don't know your family they don't know anything about you they don't know anything about you to even say who and what you come from okay and and how you know and it's funny because we could be looking at people and be like they this and they that but honestly they could be something totally different okay uh that's why it's so important not to let your eyes deceive you. Just because you see something does not mean that ain't, that's what it really is. You know, because that's how they got our ancestors, you know. Um, they were showing us paper documents and saying, oh, you know, just sign this. And it was actually signing the way they land. Signing the way they write. And, and they didn't even know it because they didn't know how to read or whatever the case may be. So, yeah, y'all. Um, it's, it's a lot of deceit. When it comes down to, um, you know, history in general. And 
a lot of foreigners have moved over here for the past decades millions of them and our people are mixing them with them because they think that they come from these foreigners and that's and that's actually just add no more confusion because you already don't know your ancestry and you have not researched your genealogy and then you're you're just mating with people because someone told you that's who you come from okay and that's how um some of these african people are gaining rights over here too through us you know a lot of people are claiming us to get our rights in our lands and in a lot you know a lot of other people don't know it they don't know it they don't understand it don't they don't know it they don't see it but i see it you know um there are people using us out here not just for that green card but <laughs> but um you know to get the things that we have so that is concluded on today's uh live stream on facebook um to recap what i said originating people are original americans by blood they're rich they're the original descendants of the original people of america um i identify as an originee a uh, richard can originally of america you feel me um and, and so-called black Americans have every right not to claim Africa if that's not their true ancestry. You know, um, this genealogy is important, y'all. Y'all better get on these websites. There are also free websites um, that you can do your genealogy tree research on. You know, if you ain't trying to spin, if you ain't trying to deal with that little 14-day trial, you know, there are plenty of sites that are free, you know. Um, and you can look up your ancestry there, you know. Um, but however, people just need to get in gear when it comes to their ancestry. Oh, I also have a question for y'all too. Do y'all have any questions for me regarding ancestry or regarding my ancestry search? Um, I guess I gonna spill the beans, y'all. I have a surprise. I, I, I was not going to tell y'all it, you know, because I was so excited. But I'm going to tell you anyway because I'm pretty much done with it at this point. But um, I'm coming out with a book, okay, a book about genealogy, okay. And um, it's going to be a little bit more about my genealogy, a little bit about, you know, history. And, um, and also how to research your genealogy too. So um, if you have any questions or anything you want me to address in the book, then let me know. And I will address it the best way I can in that book. So I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to get it published soon. I cannot wait for y'all guys to read it, enjoy it. Um, I actually really did enjoy um, writing this book too. I was like, y'all, I've been really talking about genealogy lately, and I think y'all will really benefit from it. And I ha and I do have a, a chapter talking about how to research your genealogy if you are adopted. Because I have had some people who are who were adopted, and they're like, how do I research my genealogy? I was like, baby, I don't know. But I have done some research, and hopefully, um, you know, it helps... Um, y'all guys, it's just something I made up. Like, like you know, I I a lot. I remember being on somebody a uh, post, and they like I don't like the term Aborigine. I don't want to call Aborigine because A B mean uh uh you not a, a original. And I was like, I'm like, well, why don't we just call ourselves Aborigine? You know, take the A B off and just say Aborigine. You know, and I've been kind of you know stuck with that title ever since. Um, so, and also, too, I have actually found the term originally in a book, and, um, uh, I can't remember the name of the book, it was like the Journal of Heredity or something like that, I think that's the name of it, and, um, it was talking about, like, the black tribes here in America and all other stuff, so, yeah, that's, that's how it was. So yeah, y'all, um, that's how it is. That's how it is. Um, that's what it is. And if people don't like us claiming our ancestry, then F them. You know, they don't matter. They're not important. You know, it's already too many foreigners already trying to tell us who we are anyway. And they don't know us from a pot to pee in. So 
you know, um, just like I said, you know, people that don't know your ancestry and don't know you personally, they have no right to tell you who you are, who you come from, because they don't know you. They don't know you. And there's a, there are a lot of foreigners claiming us because they want to get a piece of the pie. They want to um, smoke their way in and get the benefits and stuff like that that we receive. You know, and, and we are the trendsetters of the world, baby. People look to us and they be like, ooh. I like what y'all doing. I like them dance moves. Oh, I love your culture. Yes, I'm black too. I'm this too. But they're only doing that because they want to uh, snag the, the the swag and and um the stilo we have. You know, I, I brought it back, y'all. Stilo. <laughs> yeah, if you're the people from the 90s, y'all remember that word? Stilo. You know, they just they just want our sauce. You know, they want our sauce. They want they want our power. They want our position. You know, there's a lot of people and a lot of foreigners claiming to be us and, and hoping that we claim to be them so they can trade uh, places with us. You know, I talked about this on my YouTube channel as well. Um, there are a lot of foreigners, especially Africans, claiming to be us. Um, and also, and now since some of them see us um, claiming our true ancestry, you know, our, our original American ancestry, they claim on to that too because... They want whatever we have, y'all. There's a lot of jealous and envious people out here in this world. You know, there's a lot of haters out here in this world. And um, there's, there's, no, um, there's no doubt what's really going on here. You know, there's a reason why so many Africans are moving to America and they want us to move over there. Okay? Don't fall for that trap. Them Africans move over here because they ain't no jobs over there. They, they trying to get away from political corruption. Okay, but steady telling us that we should go over there. Trying to reconnect with this African roots that they claim that we have. Knowing good and well that we the indigenous people of America. We the original people of America. And that they just want us to trade places with them because they don't like their own stuff. And they not fixing their own stuff. That's why they moving. Okay. Um, however, you know, despite what has happened over here, you know, some of our people did move over there. Some of our people did move to other countries. But guess what? Majority of us, we stayed. Okay? We we like, okay, it's bad, but we ain't going to leave our land, you know? And that's why they had to remove us by force. You know, that's why they were sending um, entire tribes to the Caribbean and other different places, you know, because we are fighters, we are warriors, you know, like we fight to the death up in here, okay? And they hate that. People don't like that. Yeah, we look good, we smell good, we cook good, we F good, like we just do it all good. Like they can't they they can't they can't deal, you know? And also too like we just don't take abuse, y'all. We don't take abuse like how they claim we are. You know, uh, how we claim how they claim we do. Um, I know in the movies, they, they always like to portray us as these African slaves that was getting beat. Baby, many of our ancestors were not playing that. Okay, we are wild Indians. We are the wild Indians. Okay, you talk to us crazy, we're going to shut it down. Okay, um, some of our people, you know, they are scared of, you know, the Europeans, but not all of us were scared of them, baby. You know, just if, if we could own slaves back in the day. You know, um, and all these other things, it's, it's, it's not how they perceive it to be. Okay? Um, just like I said, my people were slave owners. Okay? Melanated and European side. So, you know, um, you know, pe people who are trying to always group us in with Africans at this point, they just... They they don't know nothing about genealogy. They don't know nothing about history. And they just going off on what other people told them. You know, they just... You know, and at this point, if, if, if you have actually learned about history, some of the things I told you about, if you actually know some of those things and you choose to um, accept the history that you know is fake and you know it's false, that's you, baby. Like, that's you want to be ignorant, you know? Um... Because, again, there's so much free information out here. And there's so many people like me, you know, and Tasha, that's putting out free content for people. Free content that they can look up and research themselves. So, if you ain't trying to look it up, if you ain't trying to learn, if you, that's on you. That, that ignorance is on you, baby. Like, that's your bad. That ain't my bad. That's your bad. You know? 
um, we are too old to be listening and 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 um and and still want to be wanting to be misguided. Okay, um, we are all grown here. Okay, if you know something not the truth, why are you still clinging to it? You know. Just like how Megan Stallion said, you know, if you know the BS lame, why are you effing with them? Okay, if you know the information false, why are you still effing with it? Okay. Um. Exactly. It wasn't even like that back in the day. Whites wasn't bosses like that. Cause slavery is exactly. Exactly. Like that's what I'm saying. That's what people need to stop following this this history lessons and stuff that they've been taught in school. You know, because they gonna teach you that they were superior because they don't want people to know that they was getting their booty whooped back in the day. Okay. Um they don't really teach about Black Wall Street either. You know, people love to say Black Wall Street when it should be Indian Wall Street. You know, a lot of and this is the thing too. It's in Tusla, Oklahoma, y'all. That's in Indian Wire territory. Those are Cherokee people that they bomb. <laughs> you know, those are Indian people that they bomb. They ain't black people. They just use that term black to confuse people. Okay? Like, and, and if you actually look at the timeline, you will see that um, we sit here and had to uh, uh, do the Trail of Tears in Oklahoma. And then when we start rebuilding stuff, then they start tearing down. They started coming over, starting race riots. And, and, then, and then when we started really whooping that booty, then they had to bomb us because they couldn't handle them hands. They still can't handle them hands. Okay. You know, um, if if we was really fearful of them, we wouldn't have made so many accomplishments, y'all. You know, if we if 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 the history how they say it like went down, they would have never even given us rights. They still would have not. Well, I want to say give us rights because rights are born to us. You know, we 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 have birth rights by default. You know, but um, you know, they wouldn't even. You know, do that. You know, they wouldn't be like, okay, well, you know, the rights or whatever. Like, no, they they wouldn't. If 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 they had their neck, their foot on our neck, like how they claim that they did, ain't nothing would have changed. We still would have been like in the sixties, y'all. Like we still would have been like in eighteen hundreds. Okay, but um, they had to change the ways because they're dying off and they need another host. Um, and then, and then they know how smart we are too. So it's like, dang, you know, we need their brains, but they're not allowed in these buildings. Like how we you know it's all about money. It's all about what they can get out of us. It ain't about love. It ain't about, oh, how I'm thinking is wrong. How I'm treating people is wrong. Here, let me treat people better. Because their ancestors would have had that same thought, you know. It ain't about love. Exactly. You know, if there was Billy bad back then, they would be Billy bad now. You know, but they're not because they're scary. And they know they're scary. That's why every time when we walk past them, they get to holding them purses. Every time we walk past them, they, they, they start walking the other way. I'm like, okay, so somebody lying. If y'all really bad like y'all claim y'all are, why y'all so scary? <laughs> y'all been scary ever since you came off your boat over here. Scared. Then fear. They don't know what to do. So, um, We look good. Yes, girl. Yeah, it is our own people selling us out. You know, because it's 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 a lot of money into this scamming us into thinking we African, y'all. Like, y'all don't think these Africans over there are making bank when we go over there talking about we want to be initiated into their religions and stuff, knowing good and well that you can die from that stuff if you're not really from that tribe or from that nation or whatever. 
you know, but how, however, they, they, they initiating y'all into that stuff because they trying to get that money. It's all about the money. There's a lot of money that goes into this. You know, and I'm pretty sure, you know, when a lot of our people start discovering their roots and start looking into that genealogy, then they going to start coming out with that indigenous stuff. or and, and like how they are now. There's a lot of Africans now trying to claim us, you know, the original indigenous people of America. Because they they not trying to lose that money. Okay? They've been making money from us getting dashikis. They've been making money from us um, getting initiated in their religions. They, they've been getting money off of us. Ever since they introduced this to us back, um, I want to say in the 70s, okay? Because before then, we knew that we are Indian. Before then, we knew that we are indigenous people of America. But, um, you know, when that civil rights thing came out and, and after that, it just went all down here from there. You know, especially with Roots. You know, that's why a lot of people think that they're African now because of Roots. When a lot of people don't know, Roots is not based on a true story. And it's plagiarized. You know, Alex Alex Haley plagiarized that, that um, you know, series from a book. Uh, from, a, from a white man book of all people. So, a lot of y'all thinking, you know, you're African. And really... It, it's it's not in the Kuta Kente. Let's talk about Kuta Kente too. Kuta Kente is actually a Choctaw name. Okay, it means whistling beaver. Okay, if you don't believe me, look at the Choctaw dictionary right now. Go get off this live and look it up. Hell, I even made a meme of it. Okay, I made a meme of it. All right, bye, Willie. Only ones was on the boats was them. <laughs> the European rulership sent them here to be the front man trying to hold it down here to do England and keep their stake in this land. Yep. And a lot of people think that we are independent from England and we ain't. We ain't never had. <laughs> they, they, our money still going to them. And, and they still holding on to our stuff too. They ain't letting it go. They are not letting it go. They're, they're not going to let it go. You know. Um, that queen over there. She holding on to a whole bunch of stuff. There's a reason why. Um, when they dig up our ancestors grave. Or when they get. Uh, or find. Or discover these. Bones. They hurry up and send it over there. Okay. They don't want people to look. Into. Our, our, our ancestors, you know, DNA and all the other stuff because they know that that's going to come back and, and uh, lead us to being here. Okay, they that's why they was always trying to say, oh, you know, Luzia and them other schools got burned in the museum fire. But yet they never said that they actually sent back that school to that Pacific Museum that s supposedly got burnt down. I remember... Watching a documentary talking about some, oh, uh, we sent this school to um, a European um, scientist. And, and he said that this looked like a Negro and all this other stuff. And I'm like, y'all ain't sending it back to them. You know these Europeans still got her school. They got it somewhere hidden. And all them other schools too. There are so many schools that match and are identical to ours and to our DNA. Because those are our ancestors. Okay. And and they don't want to put that information out to the public because then they have to admit, well, you know, majority of black Americans are actually, in fact, indigenous Americans. They ain't trying to do that because they spent years, y'all, they spent centuries trying to debunk and, um, and um, erase our identity. They spent centuries, you know, like they was doing voyages to different land masses and all this other stuff, saying that how we how we are indigenous to America, how man is indigenous to America and all this other stuff. But then when they was like, OK, we got to stop putting this information out here. Now we got to put some out there to discredit them from being the original people of America. So now we got to start the one this Africa stuff out there because we want their land. We want their rights. We want to be them. We want to continue to control this landmass and give and, and by us using science in their favor is not doing us a service. So let's start um, erasing them out of history by using science. And that's why I say 
Y'all need to be careful when you always trying to use science to um to prove something because these scientists they they not doing this in our favor. They not doing this to for their good health. You know, and when you think about it too, what is the real purpose of anthropology anyway? Other than stealing land, rights, and resources, and, and, and minerals. They don't care about them bones. They just want to gain land. They just want to get that land. They want to further control the land. They don't care. They don't care if they're digging up people's ancestors. They don't care if they're raiding tombs. They want to be the people up in there and control the treasure and have the treasure to themselves. They don't respect anything about us. So if y'all think that they just doing these science studies to, to make us feel good and, and to prove all this other stuff, you a fool. You a fool. They're not, they not looking up these skulls to, to make us feel better uh, or, or, or uh, try to prove that we African. They did, they... Digging up these schools to steal our land and our resources. Exactly. They mean business. They mean business. They don't care. And, and this is another thing too. Everybody believe in dinosaurs. Okay. And however, you know, in some indigenous um, stories, you know, they actually talk about, you know, animals that what they, uh, they, what they call dinosaurs today. However, however. That's not important to them. They just want the land. They just want the minerals. Like it, I swear, when it comes to anthropology and science, y'all forget that it's still colonizers that's uh, behind these computer screens trying to conclude this information. Okay? Y'all forget who is hiring these scientists to conclude these studies. They don't care about about our ancestors they wouldn't be digging them up if they cared they would have let our ancestors rest in peace but here they are picking up their bones and, and dissect them our ancestors from their sleep and you know, I know they're up in them laboratories causing hell cause they like Bitch, I, was you can't go me up. I know they I know they talking everything around up in there every chance they get cause I would be too I'm like I was sleeping so good for all these thousands of years. And here you are waking me up. For what? To see what my DNA like? When we know you don't care. You just trying to get that man. They want to cage us on the rim of one continent. And yes Africa, Asia and Europe is one continent. Yep it sure is too. If they can do DNA. How come they never do it on the bones? Exactly. Exactly. And then and then um they be looking up them bones, they be getting them bones and talking about some oh we lost the DNA. But then get it back from the bone. What were you talking about? <laughs> like, huh? So it's a lot of shady business when it comes to um this stuff. You know, people are really shady. Um, they, they act like they're in our favor when they ain't and they're just trying to use the information um, against us in every way, shape, or form. You know, so um, y'all be, y'all, y'all, and y'all also seen the meme of them trying to say I look like uh, Lucy, the little ape person from Africa. And I feel like African people should be offended. Because they saying that y'all come from monkeys and gorillas and y'all like it. It's, it's no, it don't matter mine. Because, you know, like, that's so offensive. It's so offensive. Because how is it that we always refer to us monkeys and apes, but they ain't. When supposedly everybody come from them. They, they not put this information out to be informative. They put this information out to, to cause division and confusion about our own origins. Okay, so yep, they show sure is apes are closer to them Neanderthals. Okay, that's why I say P 
people have to stop um using their information like like it's law like it's god you know I, I feel like anytime when our people find out the truth about something or find new information about something they just take it and run with it they gotta take it and run with it they just gotta run i'm like well wait first calm down sit down let's dissect the information first let's look at who behind the screen talking about this and this is another thing too y'all there's a reason why they send our skulls, our, our ancestors' skulls, over there to Europe. Because there are there are scientists over there that be like, them little Native American people, they ain't the first people of America. They know that. They know that. That's why I was so deep in my Australia research um, back in the day. Because I'm like, yo, all they do is talk about these, um, you know, Eurasian natives and stuff like that. When we, when we, at this point, we pretty much all know that they ain't the original people of America. And here they are talking about some, oh, you know, the Australian people are the first people, but they got killed off. I'm like, I'm going to stop you right there. I'm going to stop you right there. Because, see, that science and them history books are going to go right hand in hand. Okay? There's a reason why they said that we got killed off. Because they got to they gotta, uh, make sure their story matched them history books. Okay? Because if they're like, oh, well, you know, they was here and, and they didn't get killed off. And it's like, okay, well, where'd they go? We still here just underneath a new name and title and classification. But we still here. So, there's so much misinformation, y'all. There's so many people... Um, Spreading and putting out misinformation. And a lot of these people that's claiming to be African. Talking to y'all. Trying to tell y'all y'all African. They scamming y'all too. You know. I can't I can't tell the view people that's viewing this uh, this video. That they're African or indigenous or not. Because that's up to you to figure out and decide. Okay. I can only tell you the information baby. You know. And I can have my own you know perspectives and opinions about people ancestry. But at the end of the day. Only that genealogy document is going to clear it up. And that's why everybody try to avoid it. That's why a lot of people try to avoid them um, genealogy documents. You know, it's, it's easy just to claim something off the internet until you actually got to claim what's in your ancestry tree. Okay? And then, and then that's how you really find out who indigenous and who ain't. Why, you know, why you don't look up your own documents? You not who you say you are? You know, um, especially people that are claiming African, you know, where them documents at? Where them documents set? Where it at? Okay. And even with that too, you got to be careful with that too. Because, um, they do a lot of changing of documents and stuff like that. You know, I seen one viewer talking about F. Walter Plecker. A lot of them was around, you know, that wasn't just in Virginia. You know, there's a lot of Walker Pecker, Peckers, Pleckers, you know, all across, you know, the 50 states. You know, they, uh, every state was practicing paper genocide. So, um, you know, they were just putting stuff down to keep us from uh, claiming who we are. And then they will uh, put down another race to make you fight for them in their own wars. You know, like that United States War and, and um, the World War II. That ain't our fight, y'all. That was not our fight. Okay? But they drafted our people... By reclassifying them because Indian people, you know, they couldn't be drafted. Okay. Oh, you can't be drafted? Okay. We're going to reclassify you. Now you got to come into, you know, the world, world two and fight our wars. Okay. So, um, it is what it is, baby. It is what it is. Because if y'all have any questions, um, about genealogy or about my genealogy research, you know, uh, feel free to hit me up, message me. Um, but I'm excited, y'all. I'm excited to release my book on genealogy because y'all gonna love it. Um, so yeah, this this is the first time me even speaking about it. Um, I will release it soon, so I'm so excited. But I don't want to release it just yet because I want to make sure I'm covering y'all questions and stuff like that before I, I um, you know, submit it. So, but however, I'm ready. I'm ready for y'all to really get deeper into genealogy because. We gonna put them documents where them mouth is, baby. Open wide. <laughs> I got. 
All right, y'all. I'm about to go eat my food because I'm pretty sure I've been on here for a long time and I'm pretty sure my food cold by now. So I'm about to warm up my food. And I'll talk to y'all guys later, okay? Love y'all. Bye.